Hi guys, my name is uh, Hixie Dubs, and uh, today I'm just going to be going through how to install the XML BCUI mod. And this little tool here helps you install uh, the mods you want to use for Marvel Ultimate Alliance. This is going to be a little bit of a, a rough video, uh, not reading off a script or anything like that. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first off, you're going to want to go to this website here and you're going to want to download uh, the XML BCUI tool. Uh, the links will be put in the description, so no, no need to worry about that. So I'll put that in the description. And you want to come to this website as well to download the relevant mods that you want. So if you go here to mod releases and conversions, just have a look around, see what mods you like and just download them. Some of them are called boosters and boosters are basically add-ons to the characters already in the game and can sometimes be add-ons for other mods as well. Um, and then you've got full-on mods, uh, like you've got the 33 roster hack uh, that allows you to have 33 characters uh, to select from. Anyway, we'll go into that a little bit more detail another time. But for now, just download this tool and download it into the folder that you would use uh, for your Ultimate Alliance game. So this is not going to work on the Steam version. So what you want to do is you're going to want to download this game uh, by you know ripping it from a CD or uh, finding it in other means. I can't uh, download uh, post links for that, sorry. So you will have to find that out yourself. Uh, but for me, I had the game on disc. I was able to rip it, and this was pre-2016 version, not the one on Steam. This will not work with the Steam version. So once you've done that, download the game into a uh, onto the drive that you want. For me, it's on the E drive, uh, separate hard drive. I've made a backup as well, just so uh, that if I need to, I can go back to this and any changes that I've made before, I can just simply refer to this. So anyway, you want to go in here. And for me, when I've downloaded the program, I've downloaded this in my game folder. It's for easy accessibility, but it also creates a desktop icon as well, so you can make a shortcut and click on it. Now, once you've downloaded this and you download the mod you want, for instance, we're going to go through the MCU Thanos, um, which was uh, made by Julie, Julio uh, Cabral. So uh, props to him. That was a really good mod and it's been updated to this year as well for the end game. All you have to do is click open this. Right. And you'll come up with this for uh, this uh, this window here. And what you want to do is file and decompile. Now, when you decompile, you're going to want to uh, go to the input here and you want to browse. And it should take you to the folder. And if not, just search for it. It's simple as that. It should take you to the folder. For me, it takes me straight here. And you want to go in data. And you want to go down here. And you want to look for herostat.engb click on that and it finds it straight away except yeah, you press any key okay and that's that so once you do that uh, sorry you want to get the uh, mod that you have here and you're going to want to look at a file or a text file called hero stat and you want to open that up so um, Uh, first off, you want to hold here. Sorry if this is a little bit sloppy. I uh, just want to make an updated video for this. So you want to select all that straight to the semicolon at the bottom there because you want to respect the uh, the code uh, as is. You want to right click and then copy. You just close this. You don't need this now. And this is just for the hero staff for now. I'll show you how to do everything else now in a second. And then you want to go here and you're going to look to edit. You open it up now for warning when you edit a character you need to remember the menu location 
this part here when replacing the character very very important because if you don't the character will not show up and it could cause crashes and unknown issues so you want to go down uh, for me I replaced uh, blade he's not my kind of character so I got rid of him uh, so I'll show you that now I, I removed him and I put him in menu location 8 here we go so what you want to do here is you want to go right by here all the way down to the very last semicolon right by there and then when you want to go click, click on is control and V and it will replace it and that's fine and you go to the top and you click save right then you want to go down here uh, and then you want to click compile and when you compile and this is very important you want to go here and you just want to get rid of that and put ENGB and then accept yep and that is done that is literally done so you've done the hero start that is the hardest part right, you can close that down the next part is fairly simple so you get your Marvel Ultimate Alliance folder here and you get the mod folder here now with these you want to make sure uh, some mods don't always do this uh, but some do some mods will have their numbers respective of uh, their files so for instance actors and these files will replace uh, some of the uh, actor files in here uh, which is very important if not then all you have to do is right click rename and rename it to the number that is respective of the character that you want him to replace. For the purpose of this video, this this has already been done. Uh, thanks to Julia Cabral, this already has been done. So all you have to do for this is uh, literally just click all that, copy, come over here, and then paste. I'm not going to do it because it's already been done. Not in this folder, in this folder, sorry. So you just right click here and then click paste. It's already been done for me, so I don't need to do that. And then once you've done, all you have to do is load up the video. Uh, load up the video. <laughs> load up the game. And when you check, it should come up. Um, and if not, then you need to retrace your steps and just double check that you've done everything correctly as per this video. Um, I know there's another video out there that's done this, but I thought I'd do this in a more clear, concise manner and explain this a little bit more in depth. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, sorry it's a little bit out there and a little bit muddled. Um, I just thought I'd get this over and done with and sort of let you all know how to install mods in 2019 for Marvel Ultimate Alliance. It's a very tricky process when you first um, get to know how to do it because for me, when I first learned how to do this, it was extremely confusing. But once you learn how, it, installing mods should be pretty fairly simple some mods uh, require a little bit more attention a little bit more instruction but most of the time mods are fairly simple like this so i hope that's helped you anyway um if any questions be sure to put them down in the, the uh in the comment section and i will reply to as many as i can um i hope this video has been really helpful for you guys there will be more videos coming for this and i'll even show you some gameplay of this mod and many other mods um, in the future pretty soon actually I'm going to be working on a few more videos coming soon I've been actually playing Thanos and it's really really fun so um, I'm looking to install a couple of more mods I think I've got um, an icon mod uh, for all different icons for the characters I've got Thanos on there I've got a Doctor Doom and Magneto booster and I've unlock the 33 character hack um, and I've got a menu change and a new UI interface so yeah there's there's loads of changes um, but yeah I'll be showcasing all of that in a future video so this is just for the uh, XML BCUI 
I uh, hope this has been informative and I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.